alone. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring- check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding official, Mr. Maker. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad walk on. Man, we here today, man. This guy's a gem, man. This is my guy. Hey, man, I'm in ATL again. You already know what time it is, man. There is the shun in the building. Yes, sir, Ski. Right here in the flag. Man, what's going on, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. Blessed, man. Better than I ever been. Man, hey, man. You looking good, too. I Thank you, man. Boy, that's that's what it, you know, some of these niggas when you come back, nigga, they don't look the same. <laughs> yeah, it, it get like that sometimes. Y'all came back off, on the man. right side. Y'all came back at the right side. <laughs> that's good, that's good. <laughs> For sure. Man, last time we came down, man, just in Georgia, man. I appreciate you for always picking up that phone when we call, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Always showing us love, bro. I mean, we came in this game, man. I ain't know we were gonna be doing all this this long. Mm-mm. I came in for COVID. I was like, nigga, I'm finna get some people to come on my podcast, sell a few shirts in the store, nigga, and we just, it's up. Next thing you know, they hold on, blew up on me. Yeah, blew up. Oh. Everybody, like, nigga, I'm getting calls from all over the U.S., nigga, and other countries, nigga. Bless. <laughs> I'm trying to go with you when you go overseas, you know. I you ain't know never been. Over there. I ain't never been we nowhere. We going to Jamaica what? to do this. No, nah, I ain't never been nowhere. You I just, gotta go I, with us. I just literally, just for the first time in my life, put in on, um, on the form for my passport. passport. Yeah. Where is the first place you want to go? Jamaica. The first, whoever booked me first. We really? <laughs> the yes, first show they booked me. We need to get you to Jamaica, man. I'm with that too. <laughs> yeah. You gonna yeah. go over there? You better go get that I'm overseas money. Well. Mm-hmm. You should just take the family and go be the first trip. So oh, you don't yeah. have to do. You don't have to worry about. You know, you gotta be here for one day and then leave. You can just go somewhere for the whole week. See, you know me. I'm I'm kind of like um, I don't know the word. For this, what I'm finna say, but me, I'm we're gonna turn all this into one thing. You feel me? That's him. Look, that's yeah, him. you feel me? I, I yes, got a show him. in Switzerland. Y'all need to come on, get ready, get that's them kids passport together. We're gonna stay for two days, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I be trying to make a count, nigga. Yeah, He's all like, right, this is a write off. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? We yeah. ain't coming back. Again. Nah, we finna party. Yeah, y'all. we finna get it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, so you, man, you a, you a whole different species, man, when it come down to what you do, man. It's it's a lot of cats that want to work with you. They've been coming through the show, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out, I think, who's that the other day that was on the show that want to holler at him? It was uh, Bumpy, you, Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson. Okay. You heard of him? He I out of Dallas. Yeah, yeah, young nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he basically want to holler at you, man. He told me, he was like, man, that boy good too. Sound good. Oh, and yeah. he, that pain style is there. He Appreciate said, man, it. I want to hear, I want to hear, Dere- I want to get with Dere- He from the South, man. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Let's, hey, let's put you it together. You remember saying that? Mm-hmm. Man, that's let's crazy. He's like, man, I got to get with him, man. And you know, just and a, T-Rail talk really good about you. T-Rail too. talk oh, yeah, good about dog. you. That's oh, my he, brother forever. The nigga crazy because he say, man, E, man, I seen that nigga Murray, man. I walked up to him and said, man, why you running from hey, me? I seen yeah. that too. <laughs> hey, I seen that too and I was like, man, this boy. <laughs> hell, man. He say, that but, was so funny. I but, said, nah, but I love that by him though. He, he, gonna, he pulling up. He pushing up. He going to talk to you, uh, you know, the Get it like he he real genuine like he love you. Hey, bro. what's up, bro? Let's worry like fuck that. We can stop now. Let's go right. to the studio now. Like he <laughs> on it like. But I love that because. But when I posted that clip mm. in my mind, I'm thinking I hope people really get what he really mean behind all of this. The right. fact that Slow. don't stop. I mean, like don't let people with the popularity don't let the stardom you know deter you from walking right. up to somebody and saying right. hey I want to work with you come mm-hmm. on let's do this now don't get caught up in all this hype and all this other stuff it's all about right. working making that bread doing what you need to do yeah so always I just hope that they see the true meaning behind what he was trying to say some yeah. people you know some people gonna think however they think even if you break it all the yeah. way down for them they yeah. still gonna see it whole how they wanna mm-hmm. see it like, he didn't like I said to me it was like genuine and he was just basically saying yeah. man he wanna work with everybody mm-hmm. y'all see him out here he pushing mm-hmm. on up and he on don't you. give up no he ain't gonna give yeah, up he gonna keep going he mm-hmm. say though when he was in there with the Riz he said that nigga there ain't bagging down oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga you gotta yeah, come I'm with it. yeah I'm different I'm different yeah <laughs> but he too. said he helped you and you helped him because yeah. he said he helped you with the hooks I'm like, yeah, because you know, yeah. I, 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 I get it to him. He can sing, sing. Like, <laughs> I'm doing my thing, holding the note, but he can sing, sing. Like, so, yeah, we in there, and he'll come in there. Like, I got some exclusive, you know what I mean? I got some stuff. We got, we working on the, you know what I mean? The yeah, tape, the yeah. whole part, you know what I mean? That'd be dope. So, yeah, he was doing that, and then, you know, I come in with the verses. He like, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, what the net one is. Like, I, I'll never forget. I think me, him, and like a couple of producers, we was in the studio. We, we booked the whole studio. Like, so we could work in this room, this room, and this room. He was in there doing hooks. I was over here doing verses. We was rotating. Niggas making beats. When he get done with a hook, I come in and do a verse. We probably did like eight songs that day. Like, working. Working. Wow. Man. Yeah, real talk. Is, is it hard but, to find? And guess what? It was in like two, three hours, though. It wasn't even like a whole day. It was like a couple hours. We had like eight songs. But not everybody can do that. It That's takes what chemistry. I was about to say. Right, right. Everybody can do that. You have to have that chemistry to be able to you do You got to have the chemistry. You got to have the want. You got to have the ambition to drive. Mm -hmm. You know, the real talent. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? Anybody can rap, but you got to be able to make music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, no, you one of those guys, man, that you done seen it, though. You done <clears> been <throat> in there. You done been through a lot, bro. Like, you, yeah. you, I seen you come through a lot of different phases. Mm -hmm. I, you, you one of those guys, man. Even the fact of, even Rollo, the one that you, you, you know, was on the label. He locked mm -hmm. up now. Have free you even, my dog. Free have Rollo, you even hollered please. at Rollo? Rollo. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. How's he doing? Oh man, he doing good. Good spirit, still working. You know what I'm saying? He he and now he recording in there. He and there trying man, to get to it. He, yeah, he finna drop. He got something <laughs> going on. Yeah, I love. He it. got the music. Yeah, for real, he working. But say he finna drop for sure. Yeah. And I'm on there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it, man. That's dope, Facts. bro. Yeah. Like that's a real one. Like when you stay down like that, you know, most niggas forget about you, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. How hard it is for a nigga when he been gone two, three years. When my nigga was gone two years, you remember when my partner was gone, I didn't even help him for the first year. Because mm -hmm. I say, when these niggas fall off, he got a five. I got to roll with him the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I knew niggas was going to help him up front. But I knew I wanted to man. hold him all the way down. Sometimes and then, they ain't helping no friend, man. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, like, this was the immediate family. Oh, okay. I seen it. I yeah. know him like a book. I'm like, when I come through, it's going to be that push that's going to, mm -hmm. you know, make a difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know folks get in there, ain't no help from the gate. I know folks, I don't help while they was in there. Get out. I ain't hollered at me they yet. ain't say like, hi, nothing. nothing. I ain't mm. seen them, heard them, nothing. Really? That's some. But it makes you stronger, though. I mean, I'm. You it makes know, who stronger? It makes you. I mean, oh, it makes you <laughs> yeah, cause I'm trying to figure out too. Like, I'm gonna be strong regardless. Oh, I ain't tripping. Yeah, I ain't tripping, but I'm glad it only took that to get you from around. Exactly, like, that, I'm cool with. You, that's all. You could have hit, so hit me for more. So could have. You could have hit me for more. You could have hit. Man, what? And you could have came home like, hey man, I need a ten or twenty or something. I probably would have been like, fuck. I gotta, I gotta do, it. do it. This is my boy. Don't call me, please. If you gonna run off, <laughs> run off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so the no. What I wanted to ask I you, because I know a lot of time um, with mental health, you always mm -hmm. talk about that. Yeah. And I see you post sometimes. You know, y'all show me some love. Y'all check in. Yeah. I see you do that. How important it is for, to have your fans, to have your family, friends, or whoever is actually giving you that love on mm -hmm. social media. How important is that for you? Um, <clears throat> it, it it's important, right? I'm gonna answer the question right straight up. It's important on social media. Being that the world is 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 kind of like social media first, like right. real life kind of second for a lot of people. Not me, but a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know that you know you can show and display that you having a real support system. You really got folk that believe in you. You know what I'm saying? You really got fans that's right there behind you every step of the way. A real following, a real fan base. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to get the love, but. In real life, is more important. Like it's, it's, it's to feel that love from a, a, a brother calling just to check on you, or right. you know what I'm saying? Because mentally, <clears throat> artists we go through so much, but we can't display it all the time. So sometimes we do have a breaking point. Well, we may display the wrong shit at the wrong time, mm -hmm. and then again, it runs straight to social media, and yeah. then they try to put this on it and that on it, and. So yeah, it's important in social media, but also more important in real life. So you don't have those breaking points. You know yeah, because one thing I, I was always saying that I'm I'm happy that you're very transparent with that is concerned because the first time I saw it, it made me want to. I, I hit him up and I'm like, hey, check on the rest because I didn't like that post. It, you'd yeah. be like, you know, I'm going through something or I'm mentally about to break or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. and you put it out there and mm -hmm. I'm like dang is he okay yeah I ain't gonna lie sometimes a lot of times I'm gonna let y'all know a lot <laughs> of times that's promo oh, okay. I'm getting I'm getting y'all attention like mm -hmm. the song I'm finna drop that's like that right now it's mm -hmm. called Save Me 
Okay. That's why I'm, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Mentally okay. about to break, save me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They're just getting ready for the new drop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you got to be careful because to me, when you do that and you, you know, it's promo. That's cool, but then for people who genuinely care about you, it makes us worry. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, that's a fact, but that's cool. We activating everybody else. Yeah, show me the love. <laughs> Don't call me just because you seen the post. Call me. Yeah, right. I'm good, but I like it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, we good. We good. always going to be good. That's good. I, I yeah. can tell you right now, man, like I said, you one of those guys, man. You have me going, man. Like I said, when I hear the music coming, I already know it's going to be smashed and it's going to be something that I can sit back and vibe to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, be, was it Be Nods? Uh, back beat in, odds, beat yeah, odds yeah. all the way up to Dirty Mirrors. Now, what mm. has changed with the Riz Deshaun? Everything. Know? Talk Every to me about that. Changed. How this transition happened, and let's just ride down through that because that that early on the Riz was mm. uh, that was a different beast than the yeah. one we deal with today. It you know what I'm very saying? Different. So tell me very. what's the difference? <laughs> I'm talking about very, very, yeah. Back then, that was a hungry beast. You know what I'm saying? A uh, 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 beast on drugs. Um, real depending on drugs, like for real. Like, I couldn't record without taking some type of thing to, to have me going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was into it. I was working. The, the work ethic was different. Um, I was surrounded by a lot of different energies, different people. Um, how did you stop taking drugs? Honestly, man, my girl. Like I ain't even gonna lie. Oh like, yeah. Like honestly, my girl and my kids. Like I had done relapsed and got back on a particular drug and she was like, you gonna be on that, you gonna lose us, we out. We ain't dealing with no jazz shit like that. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, damn. So you tell me the love that you had for your family and, my kids, more yeah. and your kids. Because the reason why I ask you that, because there's so many celebrities out here who whether pass away from, you know, drug overdose or, you know, I, I could call so many names. And um, they have family. Mm -hmm. They have whether wife, kids, all of that. And, it's like the drugs beat them, so I'm like trying to figure out how hard is it because it's hard, it's real hard. But you know, I mean, you care about what you care about. You know, um, me, my family is the most important thing to me over anything. Like, I don't care about you know nothing more than I care about my family, not my career, not my uh, bank, not you That's know my good. none of that. Like, my family is the most important thing. We can live on the bridge as long as I got my family. I'm straight. How long were you on drugs before you actually stopped? <sighs> How many years? Um, I always been on some type of pill, like a upper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Molly, Adderall, something. Like the whole time, like my whole career. And the reason why I ask you that, because, you know, you have some people who be watching it and be like, oh, yeah, he could get off because he was not in very long. So, you know, I'm just trying. I've been on drugs since I ever started rapping. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and I ain't saying it in a way like that, but I'm going to just say that I was doing it before it was cool. Like, I used to go to the studio with niggas and be like, hey, y'all want one? You're like, what the hell is that? Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I ain't thinking. I'm thinking like, oh, shit, it just did what I did. Yeah, I get out. You feel mm. me? Yeah, yeah. But now it's, it's popular, so everybody's doing it. But yeah, I was doing it when it, won, when it was like, nigga, what are you in there doing? Wow. And looking back on it, um, because you're still doing music, you're mm -hmm. still performing, do you see where, because, okay, in my mind, I always feel like it's a pressure being an artist. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of them end up taking drugs because that's you go through you go through a whole bunch of stuff personally in your life, whether baby mama drama, girlfriend drama, whatever, family drama. You have to support all these people. You have to do all of these things. You plus, mm, you got to come on stage with a happy personality, mm -hmm. give the, the performance of a lifetime, which you don't, you don't feel it. Right. So a lot of people, I feel like celebrities turn to drugs just to get that buzz right. feeling. Just to keep going. To, to keep going because uh -huh. you're tired. Cause you're a human being, you get tired, you don't want to go to the studio, you don't want to, but you have to. Got to. So now that you're not on any of this stuff, how hard is it to do all of these things without I, that? It's hard, I ain't even gonna lie, it's hard cause um, even sometimes like handling my business, you know, I may go through a situation, you know, with my daughter or something, she done did something at school. I come here, like, for example, I can come right here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do an interview. You'll see it. Like, it's on me. Like, and, I, and I'm working on that, though, because that, that ain't how I need to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But me knowing that, I done started taking, like, natural things. Like, mm -hmm. like right now, I'm on alpha brain focus. Like, so 
I'm Does feeling like I'm work? on the Adderall. You know what I'm saying? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. It, it of course, it ain't going to be as intense as the right. real thing. Right. But it feel like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's a pacifier. Mm -hmm. Pretty pacifier. much. Yeah, yeah. That pretty yeah. much it just helps you. You know, yeah. that's the thing about it, man, though. You you one of those guys, man, that you've been through so much. Mm -hmm. Most people, man, some people crash out before they even could even deal with right. something like this, bro. Like, your career has you been. You got to have somebody you to can, be there and believe in you, bro. And my kid, like, all I, like, my friends at the time, they didn't give a damn. Mm. Like nobody gave a damn. Hell, they that shit. That what he do? Fuck it. He finna make a hit though. You know what I mean? <laughs> nobody <laughs> cared about <laughs> shit. So like, but that's a lot of people because I've heard people say stuff like that. Like for big celebrities, like I don't care what you got to do. You just got to push this out. Facts. I mean, you know, I ain't a nigga can't. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm just speaking on situations that I don't right. seen yeah. firsthand. I don't seen. Motherfuckers off it up. Like, hey, man, what you need, bro? You need to crank your shit up. What's up? Yeah, yeah. They just trying to get a hit. Yeah. They don't care about you. They yeah, all I like that. that. They yeah. want that hit. You're a money-making yeah. machine. Right. Yeah. That's all you is. A money-making machine. We need you to work. You sleep. Wake up. But you know already that as you go through these phases in mm -hmm. life, man, you know, the most important thing is your health. The most you important you thing is your family. When you're working because the most you, important thing is your kids. The most important thing, and you can't is, see it, but you you can't see it, and, and because we get this shit put in our mind like this, right? You can't do shit for nobody until you start doing for you, right? That's right. All right, but then this music, you can't do shit until you make a hit, right? You feel and me? Continually make right. a hit, continuously, right? Yeah. That's what they say, mm -hmm. right? So then you got kids that you got now miss time with because you're always gone. You're always working That's on right. that hit. You're always working on the video. Exactly. You're always working on trying to be in the radio or somebody's face. or Like you're always trying to figure out how to catch that wave mm -hmm. so you can catch that check, so you can catch them shows, so you can keep that money coming, right? And that's what I was going to say. The biggest difference from, from the old beast to the new beast is I'm going to do what I want to do. Like, okay. I'm going to do what I do to make me happy. If I don't feel good, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to go here, I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? I like that. If I want to be at my kid's birthday party for three days, nigga, I'm going to do that because <laughs> I missed a hundred birthdays already. Right. That's real. You know what I mean? And I know, like, you know, my son be missing me. My daughter's like, come on, bro. Fuck yeah. that. Ain't nothing more precious. No, I like, like that, man. I yeah. like that because that just show growth, man. Mm -hmm. It show growth and it show, you know, knowledge now. Like, knowledge, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I can go out here and do a show, pass <laughs> out, and, and 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 not come home. What you talking about? That's but the I, truth. But I've been, and my kids ain't got nothing to tell you when they say, right. who was your daddy? Oh, the Durell Deshaun? Mm -hmm. No. Damn. I'm yeah, gonna be daddy. Me. My daddy was fun. My daddy loved us. Mm -hmm. My daddy took us here. We did. We did that. Like that's you know what real. I'm saying. That's real. So if you meet a young, talented, um, upcoming artist right mm -hmm. now, who, when you look at them, because I know you all be bumping into each other sometimes mm -hmm. at the studios and stuff like that, and you can see them going down the same path or have the same misillusion to think that you have to do these things to be successful. Mm -hmm. How would you advise that person? That's a good question. Um, honestly, when you young um, and, and you new and you fresh, it's like it's kind of like you got to okay. go hard. But be smart at what you're doing. Know what you're going hard for. Um, I would advise them to don't take sleep for granted. Cause a lot of the times artists go through a lot of the health that they go. I mean, health issues that they go through because of the lack of sleep. Mm. Wow. Um, and this is something I'm knowing by you know, going to doctor. You know, and they like, hey man, you need to sleep. Like, yeah, so you 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 this and this this and that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, and, and sleep really can fuck with your mental health. Yeah. Yeah. No lie, sleep, yeah. mm -hmm. not sleeping for days and days consistently, that do something to your mental health. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So I would advise them don't play with your sleep, even if proper you, sleep. Yeah, proper. But <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be hard to get proper. But you know, when when you catch an hour, doze on, nigga. Don't try to stay up the whole time. Like, yeah, catch yeah. your hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rap. Go home. Get you three hours. Yeah. When you ain't doing nothing after that, wait till they call you. Take your nap. Like. Mm. Yeah, sleep. I, I look at this oppor as an opportunity, like for boss talk, is just really like a lot of the young niggas. We see in the comments what people be talking about, man, that nigga how, this nigga mm -hmm. that. And my thing is, 
for us just to be an example to the people that God put in our life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just like you, you going to that studio now, you being uh, one that's temperamental and self-control is there, they're going to see that in you, mm -hmm. and that's going to be another thing that they can draw off of. Mm -hmm. It ain't about much as what you say, it's about how you move. Yeah, how you move. You, so they looking at you, mm -hmm. and they like, damn, you know, because they ain't seeing the old you that used to do like they doing. Right. So now they like, damn, what, what make him tick? How did he beat it? But only by your actions. Yeah, fast. You see what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> they ain't going to say it to yeah, you. Yeah. They like, damn, you know, like, because I'm going through it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of time when you're going, going through, through this it, stuff, it. it be like, you be tired. That's why I personally, you know, I don't know about nobody else. I personally like to ask the questions that I ask because mm -hmm. I know how people are. You can walk up to somebody and give them that same advice that you're giving right here. Mm -hmm. And they go act like they're not listening to you. Mm -hmm. So I prefer when they can look on their YouTube and whatever and hear it and mm -hmm. take it to heart and be like, man, I'm going, right. you know, because they're not going to let you know that you help them. Right. Fact. Yeah. It, that's crazy. Yeah. That's just how life <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. You're right. But if you can help somebody, <laughs> yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah. I hope I help them. Y'all ain't got to tell me y'all listen to me. But if you listen to it and you take heed, you'll be all right. <laughs> man, let's, 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 you being, being independent now, mm -hmm. would you ever go back into a label deal? Uh, yeah. Because, um, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. it's different platforms, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that being independent, you, I just can't get into, like, and I mean that in the sense of this industry is just like a whole bunch of politics, knowing somebody, and you know these, these labels be having relationships with different mm -hmm. situations. So it's like, I would definitely do it if it was right, like if it was presented right and if it worked in my favor for what I'm trying to do. But I would never go into a, a, a major deal to be the the sacrificial lamb again, like that I got to put all this work in. I ain't going home to my kids no more. Mm -hmm. I got to stay here and stay like, no. Explain that to me, though. Like, how did you feel like that closed in on you like that? Like, for example, right? Like, I don't had conversations where, you know, and it's real. Like, I don't had conversations where, I may have been late to some shit or I say, no, nah, I can't do that this day because I'm like, yeah, I got to do this with my kids. kids. Motherfucker said, fuck your kids. No. What? That's what I said. But a young me, stupid, I said something like on some check and shit, but then I thought like, damn, you right. I can't let this be this, the reason why I'm not doing what I got to do to feed them. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. And that's how they put that in the nigga head. And that's why I say I won't go back to that shit. You, I, I never go sign a major for them to do that shit again. Hell no. But I feel like it's um, tradition in a lot of ways because men, period, whether in this industry or not, feel like it's their role to feed their family at all costs, it no is. matter what. As long as they have their wife or girlfriend or baby mama, whoever at home, mm -hmm. they know their kids are safe. They know their kids are being nurtured. Mm -hmm. They they feel a sort of um, relief to know that right they're being taken care of. I felt that too, but then again, you gotta just think, right? What woman really want to just be that in life? Like right. women want to, they got dreams too. Like they ain't just trying to sit at the house. Like mm -hmm. so, it's like it's hard. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? That shit get hard. Like when you, especially like for me, right? My fiance, I got a fiance now. She Congratulations. Do yeah, thank you, thank Party you. Party women, hey, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, nigga, we got you. Nigga, we got you, nigga. Bring him on in, nigga. Yeah, yeah congratulations, <laughs> nigga. We got that, nigga. Yeah, they got you. Yeah, she damn sure got you. Yeah. That's who it be. Uh -huh. Hey, I knew it. I had a, my other big homie, my cousin. I remember when he first they got married. Now he ain't with her no more. But boy, when he first got married, mm -hmm. I'm going to say to let y'all get back to it. He was like, I like, damn, nigga, you know how you try to hurt a nigga feeling? Oh, nigga, you you in love, nigga. Mm -hmm. I thought a nigga gonna say, no, nah, no, nah, ain't that nigga's mm -hmm. nigga say, so? Yeah. So? <laughs> nigga, That's don't, how I'm feeling. Hell don't, yeah. Yeah. So don't, don't play, nigga. You don't feel? play. <laughs> love a beautiful thing, man, when it's Already. done, when it's real love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, like she got her own thing popping off, like, so it's like, um, it, I mean, yeah, I ain't going back to that. That's, That's all I'm saying. Already. My whole household trying to be somebody. My kids trying to, I got a daughter want to sing. I got Come a daughter on, want to, like, you know what I mean? We all trying to get in there. My son want to produce and do what he doing. Like, yeah, I ain't, I never go back to being that, 
the, the rookie. Like, Damn, right. so, you know but you're going to use all of the things that you learned from this um, field mm -hmm. to help your children. For sure. You understand? Show them what not to do, what to do. And I guarantee you, these kids are so smart, they're going to mm -hmm. teach you some. They already do. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> do you think talk me? Yeah, they do that. I just be like, hey, look, uh, the promo sheet, so I need to do this. Help me uh, figure this out. They do that. I don't. That's cool. Yeah, fact. That's cool. That's dope, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you just like I said, you you one of them guys, man. That to me, like I said, you 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 started a wave. You was in a wave. You know, don't get me wrong. I I mm -hmm. seen everybody doing the singing thing, but when that hard away came, the way that it came mm -hmm. during that time, it. Well, nobody rocking it like that though. It was right, it was just that man. time. It was, it was just a, a perfect different time, time yeah. bro. It was. I couldn't. You couldn't make that up, bro. Like yeah. I don't even know. Nah, man. How did they feel? Like I know you told me last time it was a hit and everybody knew it was a mm -hmm. hit. But how did? How did? I mean, it 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 opened a lot of doors for you. A bro. lot. It it spread it like a lot of doors that, that it opened a lot of doors that got closed by. Not me. Let's say that. Like yeah. it opened doors that people try to manipulate and, and, and it closed on me. And that is ultimately why I chose to just remain just independent and reopen my own doors, rebuild my relationships with my own folk. I don't need nobody speaking for me, talking about, oh, he the next slut. No, nah, nigga, they know. You know what I mean? No, it's like, already solidified right, at this point. Right, you, right. you did the right thing because right. really today's society is is more of an independent driven mm -hmm. way that the music streams go to me mm -hmm. anyway. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. There's some niggas out there who got a good deal, cool, but you can make it on your own. You bro. can, but... but the, the, the misconception of being independent is you got to have all the tools, that's, though. That's it. You did. I was going to ask you, like, the BET Awards coming up. And mm -hmm. I'm going to let you finish that because people be like, E, you cut him off. I wanted to hear what he had right. to say about that. I know that. I got it. <laughs> but the independent thing, man, uh, going like the BET Awards coming up, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, like to just show up there, you know, uh, you know the the vibe. You have to have a budget for this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you like, I'm gonna show up. And if you did, and you decided to make a run on something independently, yeah, these are the things that you start factoring you in for yourself. Budget. You have to have a connect. You have to have somebody that's knowing somebody that gets you in. Like it ain't just a walk up. Walk up in there. I'm me. No. I'm the red. Yeah. And that budget <laughs> is out of your own pocket. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Independent. Yeah. But can't you get sponsors? You can, but that's what people don't know. Like. You can definitely get private investors. You can get right. sponsors. You can get... So you can actually get money without actually having a label and without right. it coming out of your pocket. Exactly. And that's You just the have catch. to be able to present yourself properly and be able to represent that brand properly right. and right. not mess that up. Represent that brand properly. Yeah. Represent yourself properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And know how to be in the room with these folks. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. But what did you learn though when you were in these rooms when you were under your deal that you can carry into this independent stage of your career? Um, what I learned was like relationships. Like honestly, like them relationships is the most important thing to any career because if you if you if you sh disrespect or shit on or not show up to something that one of these people doing this this and that for you doing. They can shut your shit down. These folks sit in the office for hours coming up with this marketing scheme shit and the, the rollouts to how you doing this. And if you don't re if you don't represent them well and show them the love and the support they need, like nigga, they can put you in the back. Like, mm -hmm. and I learned that. So from my personal relationships, uh, I mean, I learned that from my personal experience. Now when I go meet y'all or some y'all can call me and I'm picking up. Hey, right. what's happening? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I'll push up. No pressure. Yeah. DJs, hey man, you'll do this on me? Hell yeah, I will. Hey, bro, we doing a show for whatever day in such and such city. Can you come? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it's, I got you, you got me, we got each other. Correct. We gonna keep it going. Keep and it all rolling. the money come yeah. to you. You don't yeah, have to fact. everything you do. But I've had um, people who've been on the show who say that independence, it can only carry you so far but you need a label to whether the distribution or to carry you even further. Again, it depends on who, what artist you are, and it depends on what you're trying to do, right? What are you trying to do? I'm just doing what I love. Like I ain't trying to. You ain't what, trying to get. I, I, if it happened, it happened. Okay. But that's not my. That ain't my focal point. Like I ain't like, oh, I'm shooting for the stars. I want to be Drake next year. Okay. No, I'm. I'm doing what I love. You know what I'm saying. I'm doing what give me peace of mind. 
what therapeutically helped me. Um, I'm making good money doing it. My kids, you know, they they with it. They like, yeah, that's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? They proud of me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, whatever come with it, come with it. But I ain't that ain't like my I I, I accomplished my goal. You know what I mean? I, I became a successful person. You know that ain't normal from where I'm from. So I ain't tripping on the other shit. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm good. I'm grateful. Yeah, that, that that you know that's the the one thing about it. You can't. The Bible say no man look going forward. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing a plow and going forward. Look black. Look back without running into it's something. something. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful on looking back. Once mm-hmm. you've already treaded through those different places, mm-hmm. you already accomplished that. Right. So now it's time to move on to the next stage. We in a phase now where. It's back at it again. You know how nigga get his second win? Yeah. No. <laughs> you know nigga, what's going like, on. Nigga, we finna come back at you. And this a whole, brother, listen to me. I'm a whole <laughs> another one. I'm somebody, the new music I'm finna drop, the new things I got going on, this new energy that I done bumped into. Yeah. I don't need, like, yeah. Yeah, like, but I from? need that. <laughs> I, don't, I just prayed, man. God like, gave it to you. Yeah, I've been praying just for a peace of mind. Like, when is the project coming? Almost yeah, said nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> I almost said the exact day. But you know, you know, I don't like saying dates yeah. only because anything might happen. Yeah, yeah. but soon. What is my nigga? September. So what month? I got to turn the album in like a week. So okay. you know how that game go. Yeah. Give me three weeks. October or something. We gotta get you to you got you yeah. coming to Texas. And this I gonna know. be your best album ever. I, you know what? I was just talking to somebody the other day. Um, yesterday, actually, I was at uh, shout out to Lil Don. We was at Lil Don video shoot. Me and him, London J, and I was in the back talking to my buddy Goldmouth, and we was discussing like my old like pain one is so mm-hmm. legendary. Like, yeah, yeah. Will I ever top that? Right. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't ever look at it like topping it because it's like this is pain one. That's what that is, you know. Pain two is this. This what this is. Pain three is this. This what this is. And I feel like all them shits classes and legend, really legendary. Tough. But I don't know which one can mm-hmm. you can't. It's, it's a whole different animal each time. These are phases, and you, you, you feel you, me? You can't even yeah. try to duplicate or either yeah. go against it because these are different phases you in. Exactly. And this one, this and the album called Bigger Than Me Too. Hey, yeah. So this phase, you it's going already, down. Yeah, it's bigger. Than you me. gonna let us in on who gonna be on that thing, man? Man, I'm working. Any uh, features? Anything? Can I get I, anything? That nigga I, ain't letting the I've been trying. I've been trying. Like you know, also, I you ain't been getting the features on there. Like, no, nah, you know, I've been getting the, the yeses and we're going to do it and let's lock it in, send it. But, you know, everybody be on their own time. But Not I'm ready it. to drop. I ain't going to lie. I ain't, you know I mean, I'm ready to drop. Yeah. So, um, I definitely reached out to a lot. I know for sure T-Rail on there. That my boy right for there. For sure. He on there. That nigga that yeah. bad boy. He might be on that motherfucker a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> say, man, he, hey, when he, when he talks, he say, Num- numbs don't lie. I was the first one with that pain me. Bro, I was nah, waiting for that. that. Hey, look, nah, hey, nigga, I was waiting for that. So you agree? <laughs> so you agree? W- w- what? With T-Rail that he was the Hell first one. Nah. Listen. Look, they say boss talk be starting trouble. You nah, know what I'm saying? Nah, hell no. Nah. Look, hey, cuz. <laughs> I, I swear, I saw it. You I said, what did you say? I said, I put Rod Wade I, face up there with look, him. Yeah, yeah, I said, I said, I, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. That's how you pull the feel. But now numbers don't lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can go to 2010 if you want to. I mean, I could go to 1999 <laughs> if we want to. <laughs> Hey, you was already on that thing. You feel me? I just wasn't nobody at the time. Exactly. You feel me? Like, I've been doing it. I just didn't have a platform. But who was it? This is an old school rapper that they, they, they were named saying. Zero. They named Zero. They said Zero was the first They named Zero. They named Zero. Yeah, they yeah, named, see, yeah, see, and, and, and I. They named Ja Rule, too. They I named salute him. them. I salute all of them, right? I do. But I'm, I'm saying, you know how. Uh, I don't know how to like the proper. Go like, ahead, just say it. Yeah, like because I be trying. You know, you see how I be working on my articulation yeah, now. Like, show. All right, so it's like, in, in since those guys, ain't nobody else been okay. doing it. You okay, did. I got you. Mm-mm. So you have. So you're not saying you're the first. Yeah, I am not the saying, official first. Right. I'm just saying anybody doing it now, that, that me, me crime me. Okay. Okay. You did what I'm Damn. saying. But, like, but, but, 
He said 20, what, 2014. He said 1990. What you I was just playing with the 1990. You wasn't even playing. Yeah, you said it. You still say it, no, no. I, got, I got songs, though. Like, I mean, you could, I, but but like I said, I wasn't me. I wasn't the Red Deshaun. Yeah. You can look up D Dash. You can look up Debo. You can look up all of my old names, names. and you'll see, like, oh, damn, he really been doing this. Been doing it. I've been overlooked a long time. Yeah. When I was doing that, they was like, man, don't nobody want to hear this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's when it came that phase where Debo, uh, if y'all done been in that era mm-hmm, with me, mm-hmm. Debo was on the gangster rap. Oh, yeah. all right, y'all don't want to hear that? All right, well, let me pop this real gangster shit in. Then it got the, oh, let me do real music. Like, let me just switch it. Right. I don't got to sing about girls. I can sing mm-hmm. about my pain. Or mm-hmm. I don't have to, you, you know, I used, back then I used to try to make an album thinking I was making an album. Like, I'm going to have a hit, so this going to be the hit. This is the girl song. Oh, I'm going to make a real song. I'm going to sing on this one. But now it's like, hell no, nah, just let me do all that shit like mm-hmm. that. Put it all in one. Sing. Sing about being broke. Sing about not eating. Sing about, you know what I mean? And yeah. it worked. Like, damn. You know, I like I said, I, I, just, I just know you have had some hell of a songs man and and them transitions was mm-hmm. crazy you got you got you t rail you mm-hmm. got moray mm-hmm. rod wave you rod know wave. but rod wave different you know it ain't y'all everybody, all different yeah, fact, that's what i was gonna y'all say y'all all different everybody different and i love every, every one that you name, Just name i love all this what did you think when you first heard rod wave he fine because you heard him after you already been doing it yeah i said he fine First thing I said, I was, I swung everything I love. What that shit? What his tape was called? Gospel something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, street gospel or something? Some something shit. Like gospel like something. Like so when I heard it, right, I never forget. I met my current manager, uh, Manny. I'm in his house. I'm like, damn, bro, you hear this? This nigga fine. Oh, I gotta work with y'all. To like, you hear this shit? He on the same mm-hmm. time I'm on. He knowing some shit. He going through some shit. Right. And then, you know, people try to, oh, mm-hmm. he got they it from they, got, oh, he you. He stole the style be, from yeah, you. Oh, you, wasn't, you wasn't going for it. Yes. No, hell no. Nah. The whole time I've been saloon shot of what he doing. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what the politics is or why we ain't worked yet or why ain't nobody Have you seen him? Night. Y'all been around each other? We did a show together in Atlanta. We did. Um, y'all had words? Did you talk with him? You know how that was. I don't y'all know the, all, politi- the y'all politics. Y'all all moving different. Y'all got yeah, your own crew. Yeah, yeah, my fault. Like, all right, let's get out of here. Let's yeah. do this. I don't know when he going to be here. I ain't finna stay for Damn, a whole nah, shit. Nah, like, nah, nah, nah. Shit. You got too. stuff, too. You feel me? But, yeah, I don't know. I mean... Somebody should have connected to that. Okay. Uh, now let's talk about Murray. When you first seen him come. He hard. Like, <laughs> see, yeah, how he came, right? Like how he came, how I first heard him, I was rocking with that. But then when I heard him sing, sing, that yeah. gospel church sing, I said, oh, my God, I got to learn how to sing, bro. Yeah, like, I gotta go take some classic. You got to get this. These nigga, hey, they done uh, remit this. <laughs> These nigga really, really sang it like, yeah. Lord, like T-Rail. I said, man, damn, I gotta go really get some classic. Did you bro. take any? Not hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I just been kind of self-teaching at mm-hmm. the house. Me, 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 me. <laughs> so um, I see you wearing that Jurassic Park necklace. Mm-hmm. What is that all about? Um, where I'm from on the south side, that's what they call it Jurassic Park, Land of the Lost. Oh, okay. I just thought you just loved the movie. Oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, I was about to say, shout out to them, though, cause I did it. I was a young nigga and I used to love Jurassic Park. I got a dinosaur on my back, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, nah, um, yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's oh, okay. What, yeah. Was it a big, big situation when you left? When, when you start moving and doing your own thing, you left cash money. Do you think that was the right thing to? you know, to do at the time? Well, me personally, I want to say shout out to everybody that I was with, everybody that's family, but I don't really talk on that subject because I don't really know how to talk on that subject. Okay, okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really, yeah. Have you seen them since? Have y'all talked? Or? Nah, I just, I ain't, I've, I've been working. Okay. Yeah, I ain't been, you know what I mean? I'm working. I ain't seeing nobody, talking to nobody. I'm working. I just like I said, you just I just know the chemistry was there. Uh, Rallo, yeah. y'all, y'all was yeah. all nigga. Y'all broke up in the Breakfast Club. I told you last time, you, you <laughs> niggas was on team for real, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Ride or die. Yeah, know? we were, we were. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
It's still like that. We, I'm just saying, when we talk about that, I don't know how to talk because it was okay. other people involved that yeah. I honestly started to see where like the different paid shit started happening. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to... It's a lot of yeah. people involved when you're dealing with all of that. It's so many different moving parts to a whole mechanism when you're dealing with labels and distribution and all the different ways that they can mm -hmm. line out the paperwork. Right. I, Nelly said one time he felt like when he signed his deal, he lost millions of dollars. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. He could even know they were losing and he didn't know where it was going. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, being real. This dude told me like, it could the be, story. You, you could be my manager. She could be the labor. You could tell me one thing and tell them one thing and they tell you something and you tell me a whole nother thing because you in the middle of working your, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of different ways it can go. And then when I talk to the labor, they're like, hell no, we never said no shit like that. What? Now I'm mad at you because of shit you said and now you trying to explain, mm. no, nah, we weren't supposed to tell him that. Like, I know how to make him grind and work and do what he got to do type shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but let me. It's a good thing you say something like that because it reminded me of um, an interview that we had with Rainwater. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And um, he was talking about the differences, like with the label, the manager, the artist, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He's saying that, like, um, the artist usually be more closer because with the manager because you're always doing stuff yeah. with the manager. So yeah. you always. He was talking about Megan mm -hmm. with T. Ferris and 1501 Car. Mm -hmm. And um, because how T. Ferris took. Megan to help her get that deal and mm -hmm. took her from you know Carl and stuff mm -hmm. like that so how close how true is that like alright I'm gonna answer compared the, to the label I, I, yeah I'm gonna I'm answer the question I'm gonna answer the question yeah. and then I'm gonna answer it like me that's funny <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's important to be close to the manager and the label okay now my personal experience is why I say that because it can be communication problems. Mm -hmm. It can be you, let's say you the label, he the manager. You could say, um, we want Derez to dye his hair rainbow and go do a show at the Pride Month or whatever, mm -hmm. which I might be with, but you not, and you say, hell no, nah, he'll never do that. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I ain't even talked to you. Mm -hmm. I probably would have. You get it? Mm -hmm. Now that causes friction. Oh damn! I don't know. If we can. We spend. The you never had to say so. Nigga, I don't know mm -hmm. what we can do with it, and I don't know nothing about it. Right? Mm -hmm. Me? No. Answering that question. You supposed to be close to the manager, but you don't let the manager feel like you work for him. Like, yeah, you don't be close to the manager where he feel like he. Running you like nah, nigga. Mm -hmm. you, we help each other. We a team. You know what I mean? I got something for you to manage. You know, not for you to take this name and think you a CEO. You mm -hmm. get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how what I feel about, about it. DJ Cho said that when we talked to him, he said he don't do paperwork no more with no manager. He said all it is is a handshake. That's it. He's not doing no more paperwork, signing nothing with you. It's that's just a handshake and go. Oh. That's he deep. say because he done been doing this a long time, like yourself, yeah. and that's all they get. No, nah, that's deep, and, and that's like a lot of trust. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, for for on the manager behalf, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if he wake up tomorrow and just say, fuck it, hey, it's like, <laughs> fuck it, what yeah. I'm going to do? Yeah. You know but what I I'm think, saying? I think he said that because for the main fact that, you know, when you're an artist where you feel like you don't really need a manager because yeah. you do everything yourself right. already anyway. Right. But it's good, especially because as you get bigger and bigger, you don't have to have you don't money. have or you don't have the time because you. Yeah. you don't have the time to deal with all yeah. of the it's small gonna, stuff. Go. Yeah, I'm learning. For me, man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I salute my managers. I got two. I salute them every day. Why um, you need two? Just, they two different different machines. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. They doing two different things. I mean, we all on the same team trying to work toward the same goal, but. This one do this, handle this, beast on like paperwork, computer shit, all that. Mm -hmm. This one the beast with the traveling and the Oh, so one is your road manager and one nah, is your one I got two managers. Two I'm managers. just saying this one do a whole bunch of different shit mm -hmm. and this one do a whole bunch of different shit. But we all right here. That's you know what good. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um I tell them every day, cause since I've been independent, I've been having to wake up, check emails and shit. I'm missing shit. I'm like, oh shit. 
damn, they asked for this. I called my man. I already did it. <laughs> Man. Damn, I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna get better, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but that's good because it, it 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 makes it where you know what's going on. Yeah, fact. you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like you checking up on them because mm -hmm. they're supposed to be checking all them emails themselves mm -hmm. and doing mm -hmm. everything. And, so and I'm do. happy. I'm happy that you're still trying to check it. Yeah, fact. And not just leave because that's what happened to a lot of artists. They just leave everything into these managers' hands mm. and to say, you know, well, forget it. I'm, I want to concentrate on being an artist, being a rapper, being a singer, and not have to worry about anything else which it should be like that like honestly man i don't think so I i'm think gonna tell you why because when you when you hire somebody to be your manager it's supposed to be somebody you trust definitely you understand what i'm saying it's just like it, it, it like it with, with anything like a gang a, a team a a, a a business it's all the same to me like if we play if we playing sports right let's say he the wide receiver and you the linebacker and I'm the quarterback. I need you to keep the other team from mm -hmm. scoring so mm -hmm. me and Charlotte can go down there and goddamn go, mm -hmm. go, right. go, like. But if one of us get that big head or that ego thing mm -hmm. or I worry about just me and now you playing us and now I'm playing me and now I'm in the middle like, oh, that's fuck, exactly both of you. That's exactly what happens. Right, so that's why you're supposed to be able to trust your teammate to do but his thing. They're human beings just like everybody else and they get caught in certain situations where sometimes people... That's why I understand Charles is saying that though. Yeah, fuck that, buddy. Because mm -hmm. when you fuck up, it's fuck you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's an ego thing, and there's a big thing called pride. Men have ego and pride. Fact. Where they don't always tell you what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you think that your manager is cool, that he's he's good, mm -hmm. whether monetarily wise or, you know, because you know you're paying him, but you never know what he might be going through, gambling, doing right, this, right. somebody extorting him money, and then put in a certain situation and he might have to sabotage you and you don't even know. Yeah, exactly. You That's why I, mean? I dig what he said. Yeah, I might have to do that. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Just put it <laughs> on you, then. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy, this is how this is going to go. Hey, uh, Your two so, managers right now looking at you like, no, I trust them though. We good. <laughs> I gotta ask really. you this question, man. I gotta ask you about. Uh, I know you watch the news. You ain't. You, you you know you ain't on some island where you don't see what's going on. <laughs> but we had a hell of a situation uh, in H Town where uh, it, it, some uh, Trey and Zero, Zero had a uh, you know somebody got punched in the stomach real mm -hmm. good on TMZ. Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing that ain't been known. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, how? Cause you. You've been through some things where you had to come back and bounce back after being shot and different stuff. How hard is that for for somebody who's in the music industry that looks a certain way, but then the media projects them after they see him go through something like he just experienced, you know, far as zero go? Um, with that situation, I don't know, like, how it or what, you know, and I be staying out of other people's business. But me, um... It's hard, kind of, like, to come back from anything that's not what's going on right now. Like, I mean, you know, they letting certain people do certain things that ain't street, right? But then you let, when street shit happen, you try to pick mm -hmm. up, you try to put somebody, like, it's street shit, bro. Like, if I go beat up a nigga tomorrow, I beat him up. I ain't trying to hold him down. If I get my ass whooped, I got my ass whooped. But being on the res, it's gonna be hard for me to. Right, and then the social media and everybody videoing in a heartbeat and yeah. seeing how they can sell the footage, how it can get out right. there. Yeah. But three, or, but for four or five people to to my, you know, Melvin Farmer had some. That's uh, <laughs> Trey A. Crip. He said, uh, "What you gonna do about it?" You know, on the show. <laughs> You know, like I asked him, I said, you know, I told, like I just asked you the question, mm -hmm. and he was like, "What is he gonna do about it?" What? As yeah, in, yeah, he's he just some. I mean, know, they, my, it be gangster, man. Like, shit don't like but they're not really shit, right? cousins, is what I'm hearing now. They're not even family. Oh, I thought it was but some family shit though. They everybody felt like they were family because of how they used to yeah, be back in the together. days, but they've been um, having conflict a long time ago. So to me, when this happened, it's like out of the blue, like y'all been having conflict. As in like, you live down there the same place. Mm -hmm. Like, why now? Why y'all probably seen each other? Why now? What happened to spark this to happen? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so openly when everything was going on. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you some news. Like I said, it ain't nothing, no hidden secret because it's so open and in the yeah, press. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, yeah, everybody like, seen it. It's on TMZ, nigga. I was like, uh, damn, uh, man, Zero went shit. on TMZ. Oh, yes. was, yeah, yeah, he, he told it. I'll talk about it on TMZ. I ain't know that. <laughs> yeah, because I don't watch TV. I mean, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. No, I seen it on watch you watch TV, watch, bro. I want to watch. I watch. Yeah, I watch what I want to watch <laughs> on TV. But I seen it on Instagram. But I didn't know. I got. I thought it was fam. Me and my buddies be fine. Like, and yeah. I would hate if a nigga take a like if if I put these headphones down right now. I'm like, hey, cuz, come here, man. I just looked on Instagram. You tripping? And we hit. I would be very mad if somebody recorded Record that and, and put, put that out. shit out. Because this my fan, like, nigga, tomorrow we good. We finna go get in the car together, like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I, that's what I thought it was. That's why I ain't yeah. never really look at really it. Really look I, at it that I way. I couldn't have nothing to say because I thought it was family, like. Yeah, a lot of um, Houston be like, well, that's family business, so we stay yeah. out of it. Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, it's like, as again, you say you and your cuz. You and your cuz got into it a long time ago, and you just couldn't see eye to eye for years. Yeah. And then you finally, you know, caught him somewhere. Something probably sparked it. Nobody really know what sparked that right. to just happen just like that. Right. And you just fought. But you haven't been really talking for some years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes that situation. Yeah. Well, I got to ask you another question. I can't be down here and not ask this question. Uh, so a lot I of know people. know what it is. <laughs> what? We have people. Mm-hmm. My, hey, man, shout out to my team who writing docu- all type of stuff up. But. Um, you had some guys get arrested down here on the RICO charge. All type of stuff going on in the Atlanta area. Man. And I'm just trying to understand, you know, like, really from the outside looking in, how's the chemistry down here now after all this stuff is happening like that? As far as, you you know, you are you good? Me, you know, that's you what know, you're going to yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's crazy, right? When all this shit happening, with, with all these different, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. groups of people and, you know, um, I don't want to jail on nobody, not even my enemy. So I feel like it's bad, first and foremost, for anyone. It's definitely bad. Like, I, it, it's fucked up, right? But it makes the industry look a certain way. I don't know. It just look like to me, it's something going on down here. I don't know. It's something. You but know what I mean? I don't think it's just here because in Dallas, aren't they trying to sweep up some stuff in Dallas? They yeah, just but did I, something I, today. I've been out of the way mm-hmm. a long time. I don't fuck with niggas. I, don't, I'm, I be by myself. I I'm think they're trying to clean up where rappers are concerned because it seemed like, to me, it seemed like they're just attacking a lot of rappers. I don't even think that. I think what happened, me, for me personally, right? Because I rap, right? Mm-hmm. But I rap. That's what I do. I rap. I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> I ain't... I ain't involved in nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I don't hang around niggas on nothing else. I used to. Mm-hmm. Biggest mistake of my life. Well, one of them. But you learned that shit Yes, sir. I meant, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know that's just. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but yeah, I learned from that shit. That sh- like I said earlier, a lot of doors that opened up for me were closed because of people I fucked it with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um... I knew early, get out of the way of this shit. Like, I'm not a street nigga. I'm not trying to be in the street. I don't care what the niggas say. I know who I am. I know what I came from. I know what I conquered. I know what I overcame. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of the way. You got to drive two hours to come see me. You my boy. But I ain't coming out there to hang with you when it ain't nothing but bullshit on my end. Mm-hmm. You did? Mm-hmm. Pull up on me. Let's kick it. Mm-hmm. Let's hang. Yeah, we family. But I ain't going out there. Damn. But every time I turn on, like, you know, I don't watch the news, hardly. I jump on TMZ and see what's going on for mm-hmm. news-wise or mm-hmm. on social media. But it just feels like a lot of it, like, you know, when they did that to Bill Cosby, when they did it to R. Kelly, when, you oh, know, yeah. all of that. And yeah, that shit, yeah. And yeah, that's why I said it's mystical. something going on. Um, yeah, I whoa, just saw that mystical. shit today, you said man. They, 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 they trying to get that boy life, life. man. What? They trying to give him life. Life. Mm. And, and I interviewed, I got an interview coming out that with, with one of his cousins. The story that I hear behind it, I don't even know if we talked about we, it. We talk it off air. We talked about it off air, but yeah. it's more to it. People don't even realize what be going on. But you only know and what social like, media or what news tell you. Yeah, I just seen that shit today. I'd be like, what the So you didn't know he was arrested? No. Like, I'm like, when I see that shit, it says somebody, hair run, meth, and some other stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's been about a month now. Is it? Yeah, about, about a month and a half. About a month and a half now. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. Yeah, but... um. Yeah, it's something going on. So Because even like... I know what it is. 
I just had an idea. The light bulb just hit. <clears throat> it's cool because it's all black folks. It's cool when them other people kids round around listening and playing to it and all that, and then they mm -hmm. go back home to their other place. Mm -hmm. But it ain't cool when this is what we come from for real. This how we living for real, and we rap about it. Now they starting to say, "Oh, you influencing Timmy mm -hmm. to become." Correct. Gangster. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, we yeah. gotta do something about this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to raise a granddaughter that's twerking her ass every day. That's what's happening. Could be. A that's what it gotta be. Yeah. Could be they a like, hold on, let's that cut is. this shit because think about this, right? Let me tell you something. About, um, because when you said the R. Kelly thing, mm -hmm. I, 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 I learned some shit about um Elvis. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Yeah. Exactly. But it was cool. It was mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, not not. I ain't saying it's okay, right. but nobody made no records about it. Mm -hmm. And it's, I, after me doing more research, it's a lot of more people. Because if you think about it, back in the days, or even even now, it's like a lot of, if the parents give you consent, right. even if your child is underage for a lot of stuff, if the parents give you consent, even to marry somebody who's right. way older, right. that's consent that is given. Exactly. That's between a parent and that person. But that's so, what I'm saying. You got the people that sit here and I ain't saying that in no cold way or nothing. Right. I don't know who the people are. I'm just saying these people. You got people that sit here and can wake up the day and be mad because their daughter and change their mind, the right, or whatever. Right. However, right. it can happen. Like yep. you feel me? I got mm -hmm. a son, right? And I had a scare with my son. Like how he, old is your son? He's nine. And you already got a scare? I got a scare. You understand He's me? He's too young for you to get scared. Man, that's what I thought. You feel me? But I mean, without getting into too much detail, right? right the girl was older than him. Mm. So she got embarrassed because mm. somebody recorded it. Mm. The mama tried to, oh, hell no. She don't, she this and that. She don't even do that. Man. Like, the principal and them saw the video like, well, we can't tell she's not, uh, you feel me? And it happened off school, so when you that's you good that they said that exactly. That's the part because if they I had told my son, side, I said, "Hey, bro, you nine years old, stop getting your dick so man, man. stop. <laughs> let get this mother get, 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 get it go, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, bro, stop. Right. <laughs> I said, right, that should let you know right now. Yeah, it's already good. It's up. up. It she can, can go get. crazy. Stop. But we tell our kids all the time, and I know a lot of parents do this to all their kids. Don't do nothing that you don't want to come out on social media because number one you don't know who gonna record it right you take pictures take videos you send it to this person thinking that oh they gonna keep it to themselves there's no such thing as they can keep it to themselves Never. they could lose their phone somebody can hack their phone they right. can, so it can get out there so do not put anything on social media that you do not i'm not, so i'm so don't record nothing don't yeah, don't do exactly. anything that you don't want i be telling my fiance that all the time like hey man why you why you what's this what the hell are you putting this camera out for you know what i mean chill man like Unless but, we finna make an OnlyFans. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but but I mean. it has good and bad. The bad part is that, right? The good part, because one thing he has always told me, even before we started any of this, mm -hmm. is the fact that record everything for the main fact that... See, that's that what she be on, man. For the main fact that, God forbid, you're gone. Yeah, I mean, They have those... Your kids, you wish... I guarantee you wish you had film footage of... Your grandparents. I do. Your daddy, mama, whoever, if you don't have that no, already. I don't. I do. A video I that you I can hear their voice. I, I ain't got it in. Because we had, back That's in the days, we had That's my favorite thing pictures. to tell people, like. Yeah, he always would say that. Man, yeah, you, you, that. You, you right. I agree with that. Because I lost a lot of people earlier. Yeah, you, you can't even. Yeah. My mom, You can't hear everybody. the voices right, anymore. Right, if I can just hear right, or see their right. movement, I let my daughter see who never got to see. Right, yeah. My, my, my daughter by my wife never got to meet my mom. Mm. My, my son never got to meet my mom. My older kids did, but they can't remember. Right, yeah, right, right. She passed away with cancer when she was 46, mm -hmm. and they was babies. My mm. son now that's 29, mm -hmm. and my other uh, daughter 20. that's 28, that's, that's that, they were babies when yeah. she died, you know? Yeah. So it's like, if I had a oh, video to show. You see pictures, but it's nothing, it's like, nothing like hearing, hearing no, a voice, a a seeing fact. emotion, a movement. So your kids will get to see that. Just to know, you, like, this is what you come from. This why right. your, this why your hair gold exactly. and that little strip right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 On your motion. Mm -hmm. You smile just like her. Yeah. This you don't just, like just like her. You move like just like her. Yeah, voice, yeah. You can see that in a video. Just don't make an explicit one. That's what I be saying, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Nobody girl, wants to see hey, that. Let me tell y'all some shit. <laughs> <laughs> she be doing some stuff. Wow. You know me. I'm. I, well, I ain't gonna say you know me like you know me, but <laughs> it, I'm sexual. Me and my girl gonna do our thing. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. I come up, I come up, the camera light on. Hey, man, what the oh, fuck are you doing, man? She wants to really get freaky with you. you. I say, it's over with you. <laughs> I know, babe, don't stop. It's just so good. Hey, man, hell no. <laughs> because you know what? At the end of the day, you can look at it like this. My, Hold on, let me tell I'm you. I'm thinking you be letting my daughter uh, watch no. YouTube uh, on your phone. Uh, yeah, and what then she fuck up, up and post she this can, shit on your you Instagram? Right. She, can, like, she can lock it, so she can't oh, get what? to it. You can't lock the camera. She can lock certain footage that she nobody can get to. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I need to get that then. You need to figure that part no. out, nigga. Yeah, fetch. Because you, cause I, what she's doing, <laughs> Man, to I mean. I, I'm not talking for her, <laughs> but then when you're not around, she can still look at that and enjoy herself. No, that's fine. Yeah, do that. That's what she be trying to kick. Oh nah, baby, you know this just when you gone. And, yeah, man, exactly. Get out of here, man. Yeah, boy, yeah, you man. You over there with your friend, like, look. Yeah. look. Nah, nah, damn. Nah, Don't put nah, me out there like that. Nah, you never know. Nah. You never listen, know. Listen, man. <laughs> man, nah, you that's know. Funny, man. So okay, I'm gonna ask since you brought that up. Here mm -hmm. we go. And I've never asked this question. Never. I mean, you started it. What's your favorite position? Favorite. What the hell? Mm. This ain't that. Uh, this ain't. What's what shoe is this? <laughs> what the hell with the favorite? She like. She like. She like when hell? I'm on top and closing in her neck. You know what I'm saying? What the like hell? That? What the yeah. hell? What kind of show is this? You done started. This might want to know. I don't want to know what the hell the real is doing talk, in there. Baby. <laughs> Nobody cares. What's your favorite <laughs> position, nigga? Go to sleep, nigga. <laughs> you got three kids. Get yeah. the hell out of here. You're They're not Ooh. old. They're young. How many kids you got? You got three? Did I hit that right? Five. Ooh, that nigga, that work. Over there, it's yeah, yeah, two adopted and the yeah, three yeah, you did yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah, you got you, yeah, you yep. got a family, and you left. I'm three How many more I, until it stopped. Like, so you, she wants more, and you want more. Oh well, I do. But you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> I don't know. I might have to call one of these daughters and give them a cup of that shit. Or <laughs> So any of the kids in the music yet, man? Yeah, my son want to um, produce. Like he been making beats on the phone, or whatever. My daughter, uh, Kalea, she wanna she wanna do everything though. She wanna sing, ballet. Is she good? Dan, yeah. Like I'm, I don't know who I need to talk to to get on Nickelodeon. Uh, 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 uh what is it? What, what, what they got going on? They got now? a lot of different stuff, man. Disney, I mean, yeah, Disney, Disney but, get but, on Disney, YouTube. But let me tell you something. The way how anybody get discovered, yeah, you can put it out there, but. Start doing some skits, start doing some singing, have her post all of these, you know, her singing. We did. Guess what we got going on? We we vlogging now. Right. The adventures with the Lunas. You yeah. Know? Okay. Where yeah. can they find that? I ain't, I ain't, I, I just been recording. It? Yeah, I just been recording because. When are you going to put it out? I got to, I, I told you I don't edit it all. Right. So I'm trying to, I got to get my boy Rashad doing the editing for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get your kids to learn how to do the editing yeah. so they can do it themselves. And yeah, my son yourself. edited. Right. Yeah. Oh, so really? it's something yeah, that they can. Oh, Okay, learn and know how to do. Yeah, yeah. Just put it on them. Then you got to get this done. Yeah, I'm you can with, learn yeah. anything off of YouTube. My daughter actually go to school. She in high school. She going for um, uh, whatever this Software. is right here. Media, oh, media. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So yeah. she should do that then. Yeah, but she. The thing is, she want to do clothes. She want to create clothes. She yeah. just in the class because that's what they gave her this semester. Like, pay her. You got to pay. Nothing yeah. happens by accident. Yeah, yeah, a fact, you got to pay her to do it. Yeah, to do the, do the thing. Yeah. That's, what yeah. you that's do. how he he pays. You got to pay him. Yeah. <laughs> Got to pay these niggas, man. Yeah, they should know, like, uh, don't you want to pay your son? If you edit this, exactly. we can make me. No, no, no. They gonna be like, no, nah, throw me yeah, something throw up me front. Keep no. the money in the family. Yeah, yeah, watch what happens. You gonna be like, fair. damn, man. They came up with three of them programs right quick. Mm -hmm. That's the way it be, man. So, man, we love you, brother, man. Uh, I how, love y'all too. Do, forever. How, love. how can people get a hold of you? I always have to ask that, mm -hmm. right? Um, any social media well not any cause I, I forgot when I made TikTok somebody took my name I was about to ask you how the TikTok going cause you were somebody going somebody took in. your name yeah. yeah like somebody you know how all my shit is the red the sun mm -hmm. somebody you know some a fan maybe oh uh, took it before you actually got out yeah there. because I wasn't on TikTok like I didn't know nothing about it how's it going I, I don't know I can't you don't check it <laughs> how many times you post in a day <laughs> it's rare. I ain't Bro, you post to post 10, 20 times I'm a, a day. I'm going to be so honest with you. Am I right? Okay, hold on. You post on Instagram, on Instagram, right? Right, like, because I'm so kind of like. anything you post on Instagram, just post it on TikTok. I've been. Uh, it's hard right, to so do it that way. Nah, I'm going to tell you, this, this the secret. I don't know. Maybe I might be about to expose something about the social media. Okay, go ahead. 
But it used to be I could do the TikTok and click, add the Instagram and go straight up. Right. Something going on. They ain't fucking with each other or something. <laughs> it don't work no more. Like, right. And then when I try to like download the video and post it, that shit don't work either. either. It's like it's a code on this shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, we yeah. ain't going over there. And I'm like, hey, man. Trump ain't in office when no we more. Get, when we get done, I'll show you. Trump ain't in office no more. Things <laughs> change after they <laughs> kicked in the White House or something. What? <laughs> that hey, shit bro, ain't the same no more, bro. Hey, listen. The world. All right, all right. Let me say some. Let me get these folks some positive shit. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who survived through, uh, you know, this this uh, pandemic we've been going through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause it was hard. It was real hard. hard. I know it was hard for me. Yeah. What? No shows. What? Know Man, what it was hard, bro. It was tough. So I, I shout out everybody who did whatever they had to do to get on. But the world has been. A fucking movie mm-hmm. <laughs> Ever since mm-hmm. When man. them folk Hitting in that white house Hey bro man. You know how scared As a black man I was to ever Go to the white house Man them, they went up there And acted damn fool Just to food, go man. like Shit I don't know If I need to go to the how white house How they go though right. Them folk went in there Like hey man Listen <laughs> Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> they, they went, went over there like, Yeah And I'm like Ooh I never get it Cause Trump walked out there With the bible And held it up And walked back in Like what what, I thought it was bro, a different world. But it was it was so I thought crazy because you had somebody was on. Then Kanye killed. was up there. Kanye yeah. was up there. Like it's people. Go- <laughs> but it's not even that. But it's a lot of people, even like Trump supporters. People was going around Trump supporters everywhere and was seeming like they would get violent. And they call that a they if we walk around three deep and we having to slap a somebody gang. we a game yeah mm-hmm. yeah no it's it's a difference man you know it, it's very much different when you walk around there and uh, get up by that White House and you think you know when we went you know you can't even get up close mm-hmm. enough to even you can look over the gate over the gate man listen them folks in there standing on shit <laughs> knocking on the people shit people dancing holding hey. the drawers up looking in the they still like, investigating that because I think people still getting arrested from from that that's crazy. At the same time, the PPP crazy, loans man. was coming out. Everything was popping. I'm talking about what the world. I done seen it. That's why I said <laughs> I survived because nigga features. Oh y'all nigga around here getting money. Oh yeah, hey. it was some niggas. Did you spend that PP loan? It was like niggas got a million dollars. Some niggas man, just got I a million ticket. Yo, I seen niggas got like hundreds of millions. Off My that partner shit. told me like nigga, I just got ninety thousand nigga. I yeah. said really. Yo. Like I don't even got now, a job. I, I salute. I salute everybody again <laughs> for surviving. Mm-mm. But your ass better have been the right <laughs> shit though. Don't fuck go goddamn what they call you. They think that oh I got away with it because it's been a year or two. Man, uh-huh. please. Brr, mm-hmm. Hey, no, hello. No. This is uh. What is that? Yeah. Where it's at? Where it's at? That's how it shake down. Oh no, Tell they you. already done spend that off. It don't matter. They gonna have to see. Oh, they got a place for. Them. Oh, they showed the fuck, dude. <laughs> Say man, how is I, well, you and Shout? PGF Shout. We gonna we gonna mm-hmm. we gonna ever get. We gonna get some music again, like just something else. Yeah, or, man. When? I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I had an album. Speci- I mean, I had a song for this album. Album specifically for, for him. him. And then I don't know. We just didn't do it. Too busy. <sighs> Busy. That boy at work. Shot oh, I know. Work. He always. He every. He all over the he place. He just bro. dropped some stuff. Last time I was Recently. over there, that nigga rap man. He just in the kitchen with it. I loved it. I, yeah, I, I like, this hard. nigga ain't playing with I'm these niggas. I'm talking about he ain't playing. He doing the video. He starting to bend it like bro going hard. Like, he work. He somebody that I can respect, um, business wise. Like from just waking up one day to saying I want to do this and doing all that shit, managing himself. Setting up his own shows, mm-hmm. doing his own marketing shit, rapping because it takes a lot to rap. Man, what right. to make a song that you want to let people hear? Yeah. It takes a lot. When he when he came on the show the first time, when he was talking about you, he's talking about he said, "Man, he got." What he say? He say you had gotten shot and he didn't even know it. I'm like, what kind of niggas? This nigga done got shot and he didn't know it for nah, months. Nah, I, my it shit. Was it something like that? He was talking about. He was talking I'm about. Like, how uh, the hell my shit shot? getting shot up. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't get shot? Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm like, the nigga got shot and he <laughs> nah, didn't know the nigga got nah, shot. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> So Blessed something happened, protection. but you, but it was something wow. happened, yeah. and and you didn't know he didn't yeah, know. Yeah, it was it. a situation. My shit had got shot up more than once, and. The first time he was standing right there with me. Okay. Really? But he didn't like he was he was he was like, Yeah, that's for somebody else, man. That shit ain't for us. And I'm like, nigga, my time going <laughs> flat, nigga. You know, Damn. Damn. <laughs> like 
And I and I and honestly, I thought, yeah, you right, cause I don't bother nobody. Yeah, like, I'm a good like. I, and when I say good nigga, I don't mean bitch. Like, yeah, I'm a good nigga. I'm a loyal nigga. I'm a respectful nigga. I'm a man. I I, I respect everybody. They sex, they size, how they living. Like I respect it. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, that shit ain't for me. You right. We go to the next club. I'm tell this shit happened in one night. Oh, no. I didn't know that. This shit happened in one night. So it's, uh, it's probably the same people. I know, I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but what I'm saying is, he from that's all he can say. Like from that, he was like, "Yeah, damn, I ain't know." But what he didn't know, my shit got when we left that second club, my shit got oh, shot okay. up, shot he up, shot up. Yeah, yeah he didn't know that. You okay. know what I'm saying? And I and ultimately, I stopped fucking with niggas. Like I was like, "Damn, you didn't know what was going yeah, on." Yeah, I got a hundred niggas around me, and don't nobody know what happened. No. Nobody. Yeah. yeah. And as I'm leaving, and I you see I see all y'all niggas still chilling, which I don't blame nobody. I'm not mad at nobody for it. Yeah. I just knew that night. No. I yeah. always feel like you no, I can't it. have yeah. too many people around you because you can't keep your eye on so many people to really know what their motives are. Right. That you shit was crazy. I mean? Like a nigga, I, I thought rocks was in like, you know how you I'm in a track hop, so when I'm I hit it, I'm thinking rocks kicking up here in the car. That's what it's, it's like. Gun, so you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't like duck down? No, he no, think no, no. I'm just running. He think he rocking it. Yeah, and then I'm like. And not one hit you? No, hell no. God. Close, bro. Close so many times. Like all of, Did like, you thank God? Like, did I? <laughs> Thanking God every day, still to still this day. Still to this day. Wow. Like, I, I would never forget what it was like for me to go home. And look at that and car like that. And tell my daughter like, bro. Dad almost didn't come home tonight, and I want y'all to know something. Daddy gonna come home every night. Every like, night. I ain't, yeah, I'm not with I would have been scared to tell my kids because but for I, the main fact that every reason, time when I leave, they gonna be so worried. Only reason I did because my daughters is like really like I'm. I talk to them. Tell you them what's me? going on. Yeah, and I want them to know. Don't think this shit cool. You hang around these little niggas and these boys and mm -hmm. shit, and they thinking everything is funny. You getting shot, it ain't funny. Mm -hmm. You almost dying, ain't funny, my nigga. So mm -hmm. I talked to my kid like, hey, dad almost ain't come home now. How did, man. How did they handle that, though? Well, what? When you told them that? They just listened, probably. Yeah, they just listen. No lie, they just listen. Mm -hmm. They like, all right, dad. How did you and Shaw patch it back up? How did y'all get past that? Because I think he told us. But nah, I, I wasn't ever mad at Shaw, though. No, I'm saying, but in his heart, he felt like he let you because down. Because you didn't. That's oh, what see, it was. Man, I never knew that. No, nah, he told I mean? us, didn't he? He told yeah. us something. I ain't know. He I ain't told know. us that. Yeah, Because he said know. you didn't talk to him. He tried to call or something like but that. But I ain't talked to nobody. nobody. But he didn't know that. But imagine yeah. a person is called who he felt like he let you down. That's my brother, though. So I dig what he's saying. But it 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 was everybody. Like I didn't answer for nobody. But he wouldn't know that. But that's the thing. Like it was like this, right? He didn't go to the hood and say, "Hey, y'all talk to the And they say, "Yeah." Like I ain't talked to nobody. So if he feel like that, everybody feel like that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I did feel like talking again, I picked up the phone for who I fought with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Change my number and everything. Like, yeah. oh, cool. I don't even want to. Like, it, it, it put me in a mental state. Like, I just don't even want to be around nobody. Like, just because. Yeah. Just because, bro. Like, you don't nobody know who did it. Nobody you don't said know, Yeah. Everybody making up different. I heard a million different stories, right? Who done it? Who done it? Why? Oh, it won for you. Oh, it ain't that. It ain't this. You know what? It don't even matter. Yeah. It don't even matter. It happened. Y'all don't know what happened exactly. Or at least y'all want to say this happened. But now me, me having my other little shit going on, I find out exactly what happened, right? Mm hmm Now I'm just like, yeah, um, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I've been. I don't yeah. care who don't like it. I don't care who don't want to. You know what I mean? I'm good. Mm -hmm. I God has I, a purpose. I, yeah, man. I ain't mad. I ain't hating. I ain't hunting. I ain't looking. I don't care for you. You don't exist to me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know what I mean? I've been there. Like yeah, yeah. Once your mind go there, I shut you down. It's over. I'm talking about man, nigga. You you ever see the movie when a nigga walking and stuff blowing up behind him? Yeah, <laughs> that's how. <laughs> That's how you feel when you stand up and like, yeah. <laughs> silly. That's yeah. what niggas just going on. Yeah, fact. Nigga ain't got time for that, man. Yeah, I, I did and, what and, I had to do with that. I'm done with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, I know how that. I know 
He loved me. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. And we love you, bro. Yeah, we for we, for we, sure. we appreciate you, man. Like I said, Thank I can't stress it enough. I'm getting you to Dallas, nigga. I try to say, I, what didn't I tell you? Yeah, I said, I'm, I'm going to fly this nigga to Dallas and fly him back in one day. Yeah, yeah, didn't Rocket, I tell you that? yeah Rocket, one of my members of Rocket told me that. He was like, yeah, they were trying to take you to Dallas. Man, I yeah. wanted you to be yeah. in Dallas, well, man. When the last time you been to Dallas? Man, I ain't been to Dallas. I really just wanted you to come for my show. I don't give a damn no, about I'm none of that stuff. Yeah. When was the last time? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't been there in a minute. I ain't really, like, working on the album, I'm going to be a hundred. I only been taking shows if I, like, kind of need it. Yeah. Like, to, like, to balance out some other shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I just been living off what I already I know did. what I'm going to do. So, I just been like, yeah, let me focus on the album. Let me finish the album. Once I finish, we can start back taking dates. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I got a show on Arkansas Saturday. I'm only doing that to balance out other shit. Because right. I'm the label. Like, it's me mm -hmm. and my team. Like, I'm, yeah, I know what it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, when them videos come through and bitches 10,000, I'm paying. You got to drop that. Pay. That's right. You feel me? When, when we need goddamn uh, 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 ads and apps and shit and all of that, I'm paying for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was saying earlier just to touch that, bro. If you become independent, you better have you your better shit have together. together. I thought about what you were saying because I was like, man, you know what, man? You would have to have, like, you got some solid managers and some people who really understand the dynamics of how to move in an independent situation. Mm -hmm. You can be powerful as hell. You can. But you got to have the right people on your team. That's all you it gotta is. You got to have the right, the right people. people. If you Shout got out to Venice, too. That's my own um, distribution. They doing their shit. Dope, dope. Yeah. And you got to have somebody that understand what is it Venice? Yeah, Venice. You yeah. got to have somebody understand Ven Venice mm -hmm. on your team. Like, dealing with that. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can't be everybody and everything yeah. to everybody when you're trying to deal with artistry. Fair. It's just so many di different moving parts to what you're trying to accomplish, right? Yeah. So, man, that's the and good you thing. you can't do that shit, bro. Like I said, <laughs> rapping alone is hard as hell, bro. Well, just remember, don't sign no contracts with no managers. Yeah, just fair. run around this whole renegade. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, nah. <laughs> Listen. I was in a fucked up contract before. I know. I, what fucked me up the most is when they say some shit like, if you don't sign it, uh, if you don't send in the, um, what is it, the, 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 the I guess, request to not be in, in agreement yeah. anymore yeah. within 60 days. It it's recycles. Time back over. Yeah, it recycles <laughs> two plus years times three. Boy. I'm like, boy, hell no. Uh, <laughs> I'm signing now. Like, I'm out. Dude. Boy, man. <laughs> Yeah. Man, so yeah, I, I done thought about I'm gonna get him to Dallas, man. But I'm gonna, I, I gotta bring his fiance too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. for sure. Man. I'm gonna bring both of them, and then we we'll, we'll yeah. rock yeah, out with it. Okay. Yeah, man. We'll do it like I'm that. trying to, I'm trying okay. to blow her shit up. Too. Oh, I got something. I, I yeah. got something for you though. What does she do? Like, she do hell, man, and she's amazing. Like her page is Glitter House Boutique. Dope. Well, well, her shit called Glitter House Boutique, but okay. her page is Glitter House with the two S's. So it's okay. like, uh, yeah. So she doing hell weird, um, oh. coloring natural. She she like master natural, like you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying. Mm -hmm. But she doing everything, man, going man, crazy. Good. Yeah, that's a blessing, man. And and basically, you know, how long she been at it? Man, she did some shit, and I'm gonna tell you why I feel good with her doing. It. Did some shit she probably dreamed about as a little girl, and it took a real nigga to come in her life and tell her, "Let's get it, let's get it, you feel me? do it." Real shit. Let's do it. I ain't gonna stop. Let's That's go. That's real. Yeah. No, and, and you back, and then she back, and you back it up. It's going good. down I once again. That. Yeah, fact. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, Already. man. We're gonna end this thing like this, man. You got anything else for the real the show? No, did we miss anything? Anything we no, cause we cut we let him talk. Oh I yeah, all right. I cut his ass it's off. Thing. One yeah. thing, it's cut his thing. ass off. <laughs> all right. So the last man, the the new monster, the okay. new monster. What's different with me? Yeah, it's just me. Okay. I ain't got a hundred niggas running around me with fucked up ass energies and vibes and attitudes. Yeah. I don't have to watch over my shoulders every fucking day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I'm the most happiest I ever been in my entire life. That's good. You feel me? Most peaceful I ever been in my entire life. Most mentally stable I've ever been in my entire life. I have some slips, but rarely. Like, man, man. They've been I'm breaking. so happy. I got so the happy. family. I know what no, it is. I'm thinking family bro, every it, time he talk. Exactly. <laughs> bro, I go to video shoots. I get out of the Sprinter. It's me, my kids, See? And my fiance. That's, That's it. it. You feel me? That's beautiful. I ain't. I ain't I, when I'm did me. it click? When did it click man. to you that that's what you needed? Because the last time when we did an interview, I'm telling you, you were in my prayers. Because when you started talking about your mental state and, the, you know, the days that you have and yeah. all of that, mm. 
I was worried about Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for real. They helped too. Thank you. I wasn't so worried about it when because when did it click? I don't know, man. I just I, like I say, I just was praying. I've been praying just for peace. Mm. The reason I wasn't worried about it because we talked about his kids last time. When he said that tear dropped, mm. and when you think about going to the school, and when he's trying, he's telling you that, I remember you could, that part. he's fighting through at that point for me. I already know yeah, that he was fighting it, but I know God ain't gonna let him through yet. Yeah, that I time. ain't gone through yet. Right. Now, now I'm through. Like I'm good, even That's with my good. kids. Like. <clears throat> Um, I wish all of them would stay with me, but my other daughter back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't tripping. Yeah. She talk more. We talk more. Yeah, That's good. you know what I'm saying? That's it. And it's fun. Like it's it's it's, it's really a good feeling. Like fun. Man. Like to be able to watch my beautiful children grow up. I'm happy man. Peep they characters, wristics, and they 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 the, the things they like to do. Like they becoming little people. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like I'm I'm peeping them. One's a dancer, electrifying. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Then my other daughter, cool, laid back. Let me, you know, I want to do clothes. I'm, I keep the house clean. I'm gonna be on my thing. I'm gonna move this around. Dope. My baby, my baby, baby. One, she growing up, Loving energetic, it. funny. Got a fucking whole different mm-hmm. vibe, you know right? What I'm <laughs> yeah, she walked through the door. <clears throat> this is the best feeling, no matter what I go through. I can be mad every damn day I walk in the house. She see me, hey, daddy. Hey, daddy, 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 she ain't got to leave. My kids ain't got to leave me. I ain't going to lie. I'm talking going to college. Be oh, yeah, they can do that. I ain't going to lie. I'm gonna because be, you know I, how I'm you be. look at them, you like, you remember, to any parent, you look at your children and they're always kids to you. Mm-hmm. No matter how old they get, they're still your little babies. Mm-hmm. And you turn around, you're like, they Damn. grown. Yeah. Or, or the one that at home, she driving and every day, you know, you're worried when mm-hmm. they get up and drive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see yeah. one, anything yeah, wrong, yeah, I'm yeah. out there. You know what I, I mean? I'm yeah. stressed, nigga. No, fair. I know that part. Yeah, but as far as I'm going to college or whatever, I, I'm going to say this, <clears throat> but it's not for y'all, right? <laughs> this is me, my life, my thoughts, my kids. Uh-huh. I ain't pushing that college shit on them. Mm-hmm. If that's what they want to do, though, do that. I'm more into teaching you how to survive. No, no be a boss. No, you mm-hmm. don't need school to open a damn business. Right. Uh, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I mean, now That's if you want to, you know, become a doctor or what, yeah, yeah a lawyer or something like that, then handle your business. But mm-hmm. I'm pushing my kids on what they want to do because they got somebody I never had, which is me. That's mm-hmm. real. I'm gonna open it up for you. What you want to do? You want to be a rapper? All right, bet. Hey, grrr, hey, Rodway, you ain't do a song with me, but you better do a song with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, me? For real, real talk. talk. Hey, man, my daughter got damn, look here, uh, ABC News. My daughter, need you need to put her shit up on, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't had it. I ain't had no better. They got to open up the door for me. Be a time. I ain't pushing that college shit on them. No, I, I do don't what blame you want. You. I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't blame you. I'm, don't and blame now you. niggas again. I'm learning that niggas getting paid millions of dollars playing video games. What? Yeah. yeah. Come mm-hmm. on, DJ. Play. I am not going to interrupt you. Do your thing, <laughs> son. <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah. But that's that's that different monster. I'm happy. That's good. Yeah. I had another question, but I forgot it. It came out of my head. That's how I all love, man. Like I said, this is family now. I just yeah. told you, coming to Dallas, mm-hmm. you think I'm playing? No cap, nigga. No kids. Get this nigga all the way to Dallas, him and his wife, to be mm-hmm. around this camp. When's the date, anyway? Oh, hell. She keeps talking about summertime. Like, oh, I, 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 I don't I don't know. Like, you nervous? You're going to do something big, small? I don't. I, I, I think that. The wedding is supposed to be however the wife wants. That's right. That's what. That's exactly the right. All right. So I don't. don't Whatever. Whatever you're doing. Let's go. Yeah. Whatever she wants. Yeah. I'm on go mode. I told you we could do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Done with it. Yeah. I'm done with it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you, You happy? I hope these birthdays and shit get a little smaller now. But that's it. Wedding shit. You know what I mean? I gotta ask you before you get out. What? Where's uh? uh, First of all, is it anybody out here that you hear that you hear doing the music? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I seen was it Moo, Moo or who's this this guy you did a song Money Moo Money Moo uh-huh. I mean like like who 
who's and I just mentioned him because I knew y'all did a song together. Mm-hmm. But who down here is? Did you hear in a sound from that you like that? That's a nice sound that you you know you hadn't heard. Honcho. Honcho. Yeah. Honcho. I'm gonna look him up. Yeah. Honcho. I'm loving how he's sounding right now. He definitely got like I'm noticing like I'm seeing all the like street nigga kids, college nigga. I mean. They fucking with it Cause he doing the same He rapping that pain But putting that sauce on it oh, Where is he from? Saying. What part of town? I think he from the east side East side Yeah Going in Going crazy Crazy I'm, I'm fucking with it Hell yeah Like I ain't even capping Like he going crazy Like hey, Everybody in the streets feeling it Honcho Yeah I'm just speaking off from I don't You feel it Yeah me Yeah listen you, to you, the music you, yeah. you, you know music And yeah. you really do this Yeah if I If I When I put my hand In being the CEO You'll see what I know when is that gonna happen? See, it's how you can drop that out there like that. You can't drop just, that out there like I, that. I, I be having to put in the work to build it up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I gotta build it up from the ground, so it ain't like I'm going in business with a company that's gonna let me be as equal as them. So I have to build my shit up and become the company, and then I'm gonna do that. Would you sign a guy like you sign Huncho? Yes, in a heartbeat. Yes. You know he the one. I know it is. I believe. Yes. What's his name on social y'all. media? Yeah. H U N. I spelled it wrong. H U N. I put H O N. Yeah. H U N C H O. Look him up. Huncho. Uh, shout out to Huncho, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody though. The Atlanta got a lot of a lot. Of, it's a lot of niggas coming out. It's right a now. lot of them coming right now. Yeah, fat, but I'm just saying, you know, he the one that you've been seeing that you've been hearing that sound, that pain yeah. sound from. Yes. Already. I'm trying to get in there with him. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. You get Huncho, okay? And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, I got a nigga name. Uh, what's okay. His, what's his name? Uh, you talking bump? Um, Bumpy Johns. Oh yeah, just put it together. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. yeah, I wanna I, I bring Huncho. You, I mean, you bring Huncho. I bring Bumpy Johnson, nigga. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? And, hey, and then pain, we gonna see. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, we gonna see. Oh yeah, nigga, let me I'm gonna hear, put let me hear, I, yeah. I, next time. Yeah, I want that nigga to. Uh, I wish I could get that nigga. I need to get something for that nigga. I yeah. need to find a link with that dude, man. I love the link. Oh with yeah, him. for sure. Yeah, the reason being shit. because uh, I got Bumpy coming uh, in a couple of weeks back on the show, mm-hmm. nigga. Hey, that you nigga, say he from Dallas, right? Mm-hmm. I'm saying, yeah. nigga, I'm saying, man. I'm gonna look him up. His, yeah, his page, Bumpy Johnson. His yeah, Instagram? The nigga, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna look him saying, saying, saying. What? And he raps who? What? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These niggas shitting on me. <laughs> you the, hey, you the dog, father, nigga. What are you talking about? Huh? Nigga, you the dog. Uh, you yeah, the dog. You won, nigga. That, but nah, I'm finna go in there and get it together. Like, <laughs> huh? You, hey, man, let me. I don't know why this is kind of my mind, right? I do not know why. What's that? Maybe because we talking about Dallas or some shit, but. Deion Sanders, man. What about him? You see how Coach Prime? Like I, I'm, I'm Coach like Prime. It. Yeah, I'm me. I'm me. You like that? You know what I'm saying? Let me get. Let me show you how to like orchestrate this shit. Yeah. 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 He been That's like that. Feeling, that yeah. nigga been like that, bro. Yeah, for real. From from Atlanta to Dallas, yeah. man. That nigga been like this all his whole that's what life, I'm saying, bro. You know, yo, yeah, he got he. Yeah, that's what I'm finna have to, I'm gonna have to pull the coach prime. Bro, I wanna mm-hmm. see you. Know, you know what your next level is to be that CEO, that one that builds the way to bring that wave to where you can help people to yeah. come through and not get treated the way you felt like you mm-hmm. got treated right. in some of those right. situations. That's right. your job. I feel like that is my purpose. Like that's Am what I, I right? was put here for. I, I swear, because mm-hmm. I do that even without music, like in my life in general, yeah. like on my everyday speaking with people, speaking with strangers. Um, that's it right there. Yeah, that's it. That it, it, that's your next level because that's the way you have to usher these new guys in, and they get to get sheltered a little bit, mm-hmm. but they still gonna go through their trials. Yeah, you still gonna have your personal. But shit. at least you know, hey, yeah. no, don't do that. We can't do that because I, I I stapled this not to happen that way. Exactly. But now you gonna bump over here, yeah. but you won't bump like this. You ain't gonna bump in this lane. <laughs> this lane, I got y'all shooting up out them over. I know what to do. <laughs> man, right here. yeah, thank nah, you but so that's much, truth. man. Yeah, for sure. God bless you, man. Peace and love. We love you, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah. And we out. <laughs>